Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll teach you how to draw unique binary tree traversal using the pre-order and the post-order traversals, right? So if you have watched my previous videos, you must have learned the methods to draw the unique binary tree when the pre-order and in-order are given and when the in-order and the post-order are given, right? So today we will learn that how when the pre-order traversal and the post-order traversal is given to us, how do we draw the unique binary tree? Now, let's do this exercise. So you can see that you are given the pre-order and the post-order for a tree and using this pre-order and post-order we have to draw the unique binary tree, right? So what is the first method? So if you remember what was the pre-order traversal, it was root, then left and then right. This was the method followed for pre-order and for post-order traversal we follow the method left, right and then the root, right? That means in pre-order, the first vertex acts as the root vertex and in the post-order, the last vertex acts as the root vertex. So if you check here, we have F and we have F over here. That means for this binary tree, which vertex will act as the root vertex? Vertex F will act as the root vertex, right? So this is the first step. Now, we need to locate that which vertices will come in the left subtree and which vertices will come in the right subtree, right? So what is the method? Just see who is the immediate successor of the root vertex in the pre-order, right? So the immediate successor is vertex B. So now locate B in the post-order. So when you locate B in the post-order, I'll mark it with a different color so that it is easy for you to recognize that vertex. So B is the next vertex who is the successor of the root vertex in pre-order see all the vertices from a to that vertex will be in the left subtree and all the vertices after that vertex will be in the right subtree that means in the left subtree we will have the vertices a c e d and b including that vertex right and in the right subtree we will have the vertices h i and g Right. So now these are the sub problems. So for these sub problems with these vertices, let us again rewrite our pre order and post order. So if I start with the pre order for these vertices, what is my pre order with the vertices A, C, E, D, and B? So you can check the pre order list and you can see that the given pre order is B, A, D, C, and E. And what is the post order? The post order is A, C, E, D and B. So again, we'll follow the same technique. In pre-order, the first vertex and in post order, the last vertex is your root vertex. So here, which one is my root vertex? Vertex B is my root vertex, right? So that means after F in the left subtree, vertex B will act as my root vertex, right? Now I need to check that from the root vertex B, which vertices will be in the left subtree and in the right subtree. So again the same method. In the pre-order, we will see who is the successor of this root vertex. The successor is A. So let us locate this A in the post-order. So you can see that A is here. So all the vertices till A are in the left subtree and all the vertices after A are in the right subtree. That means in the left subtree, we only have vertex A, so this will act as the root vertex. And in the right side, we have the vertices C, E and D. Right? So now we need to decide who will be the root vertex and which vertex will lie towards the left and the right of that root vertex. So let us again rewrite the pre-order and the post-order with these three elements. Right? So the pre-order with these elements, C, E and D is D, C, E, right? And the post-order with these three elements is C, E and D. So you have to apply this method unless and until all the vertices are covered, right? So again, for pre-order, the first vertex and in post-order, the last vertex is your root vertex. That means D becomes your root vertex, right? Now let us check which vertices 
who is the immediate successor of vertex D? Who is the immediate successor? It is the vertex number C. So all the vertices including C is in the left subtree and all the vertices after the vertex C will be in the right subtree. That means C is there in the left subtree and E is there in the right subtree. Right? So you can see that the left part is complete now. We have exhausted all the vertices. Now let us come to this three elements that were on the right subtree. That is the elements H, I and G. Now, if I talk about H, I and G, so let us see what is the pre-order and the post-order for H, I and G. So the pre-order for H, I and G is G, I and H. And what is the post-order? The post-order for these three elements is H, I and G. So you can very clearly see that G is the root vertex because it is lying in the first place in the pre-order and it is lying at the last place in the post-order. So G becomes my root. right? Now from the root vertex let us see that which vertex is appearing, who is the immediate successor of this root vertex in the pre-order. So the immediate successor is vertex I. So locate this vertex I in the pre-order, in the post-order. And all the vertices till I will be in the left subtree and all the vertices after I will be in the right subtree. So you can see there is no vertex after I. So there will be a left subtree and both these vertices H and I will be on the left side. Right. So now we are left with two vertex. So let us see what is the pre-order and what is the post-order for these two vertices. So the pre-order is I comma H and the post-order is, what is the post-order? The post-order is H comma I, right? So who is the next root then? I is the next root, right? So if I is the next root, then where will H lie? So who is the immediate successor of I in the pre-order? It is H. See so all the vertices till H they will indeed be in the left subtree and there is nothing after it. So there is nothing on the right subtree. So this becomes your binary tree. Right? I hope it is clear. So every time you have to see, I am just repeating the main steps. Every time you have to see that in pre-order, the first vertex and in post-order, the last vertex will appear as the root vertex. Once the root is located, we have to decide which vertices will lie towards the left subtree and which vertices will lie towards the right subtree. So just in the pre-order check, who is the immediate successor of the root vertex? Locate that vertex in post-order. All the vertices till that vertex, including that vertex, will be in the left part and all the vertices after that vertex will be in the right part. Then you have to rewrite your pre-order and post-order with those vertices and you have to repeat the steps until all the vertices are up. Right? So I hope you have understood how to draw the unique binary tree. So there is an exercise for you. So do try this problem and do give the answer in the comment section and if you like the video please hit the like button. Right? Thank you so much for listening to me and those of you who have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel so that you get the latest update and believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.